Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the classification and regression trees, guys. That is nothing but a method using which you can solve the decision trees. If one thing that you should remember is if they mention in the question to solve using ID3, please follow ID3 method only, guys. If it is not mentioned, I suggest you to use this method because it is a better approach to solve decision trees, guys. Okay, it is an easy method. You will be getting the same result at the end. I'll be showing you the example, the same example. We are going to solve it again, guys. Okay, yes. So let us start. So using CART, we can draw the decision trees with more ease than ID3. So basically, even any value search, this is the best approach you can say. Okay. So here we calculate Guinea index. So this is a term which you will be calculating in this problem. So Guinea index, Guinea index, Guinea index is the king of this problem. Okay. Yes. So the formulas will be a bit looking like this, guys. So basically, instead of writing this formula also, please write a single formula which I found online. So basically, I took this from a website. I think I have added the reference also. Okay, so this is the website link. Okay, so even in the PDF, you can find the link, guys. Okay, yes. So I have added the reference because it's not my property, right? Yes. Okay. So basically, it was clearly given that Gini is nothing but 1 minus sigma of a pi square. Okay, yes. So that is a simple formula, right? So it looks really simple. And there are no three formulas for one after the other, right? So there we used to have gain, information gain, as well as entropy. So we are not having three formulas. Here we are having only one formula. And everything is based on probability, you can say, in simple words, okay? So that is the reason why this method is more efficient or easy than the previous method, okay? So according, according to my knowledge, okay? Yes, and even the books are everywhere, it's clearly written that this is the best method, okay? Yes, so now let us go through the example. So if you recall, this is the exact table which we used then, right? Yes, so this is the exact table which we are going to use again, okay? Yes, so let us see the time. So at that time, the video length, even my, with my explanation, it was 12 minutes, right? So now let us check it, how much time it will take, okay? Yes, so just explanation. I'm not going to solve even now, don't worry, okay? Yes. Okay, so basically here we will be writing the same table again guys, okay? So once you wrote the whole table, the next step you will be doing is you will be counting the number of yeses with respect to first one. So what is the first entry? It is nothing but outlook. So the concept will also look exactly same with some changes you can say, okay? Yes, so the first one is outlook, right? Yes, so you will be writing the outlook table. So outlook sunny, overcast and rainy. So we are having three options in sunny, in outlook, right? So it might be sunny, it might be overcast, it might be rainy. Okay. So once you wrote them, you'll be counting the number of yeses and a number of no's guys. Okay. In simple words, you'll be counting the number of yeses. So basically how many times yes is there with rainy? How many times yes is there with overcast? Okay. Yes. So once you wrote it, you will be writing in the last column the total number of instances. So why I am writing, you'll be understanding. Don't worry. Please wait for a while. Guys. You'll be getting a clear idea. Okay. Yes. Okay. So you'll be writing 2, 3, 5, 4, 0, 4, 3, 2, 5. So one thing I'm saying you a small trick is whenever you come, you combine this, you should get the total number of uh, columns, rows, guys. Okay. So we are having 14 entries, right? So we got 14. So you are right, right, right. Whatever you wrote is correct. Okay. Yes. So Guinea index. So Guinea index, if you recall, the formula looks something pretty easy, right? So one minus Sigma PI. So your question is, what is this PI? So PI is nothing but the probability guys. So what is the probability? We are checking for outlook is equal to sunny. So what is the probability being true or no? So one minus two by five whole square minus three by five whole square. So two by five whole square minus three by five whole square. You're subtracting from one. We got 0.48. Similarly, continue for next outlook also. So 4 by 4 whole square, 0 by 4 whole square, you are you're subtracting them from 1. So 1 minus 4 by 5 whole square minus 0 by 4 whole square, we got 0. Similarly, 1 minus 3 by 5 whole square minus 2 by 5 whole square, we will be getting 0 0.48. So here we got two values the same and one value is 0. Okay, yes. So now once you got the three individuals, now combine them and find the outlook for the whole game. Okay. So the guinea index for the game outlook. So guinea index of outlook is really simple guys. Please concentrate for a while. Okay. So here we are having a five in total 14, right? Okay. So write the formula in this way. So five by 14 into the value which you got 0 0.48. Similarly, four by 14 into zero. Similarly, five by 14 into the value which you got 0 0.48. So we got the first value 0 0.348. Okay. Yes. So in the same way, you continue for temperature. Temperature, draw the table, write yes or no. Okay. Calculate the guinea indexes using a simple trick 2 by 4 whole square. So 1 minus 2 by 4 whole square minus 2 by 4 whole square. So even if you want one more trick, I'm going, I'm ready to give one more trick, guys. So whenever yes and no, so both of them are equal, the result will be 0 0.5, guys. Whenever both of them, sorry, any one of them is a 0, the result will be 1. A simple trick, right? Yes. 
you can cross check it with any kind of values guys if you are having any doubt on me okay yes so let us continue so using temperature you got the value so you got 0 0.439 similarly for humidity okay so for humidity if you continue we got a 0 0.3367 okay yes similarly if you continue for wind you'll be getting 0 point sorry for wind we'll be getting some value okay yes so at the end we got the values in this way so for the guinea indexes of all so among these all you will be selecting the maximum one so if you recall okay so i oh sorry sorry here you should select the minimum one guys i'm really sorry about that you will be selecting the minimum one not maximum one i'm, re I'm really sorry okay yes you will be selecting the minimum one so what is the minimum one the guinea index of this is minimum as we are subtracting one minus right so that's the reason why we will be selecting the minimum one okay yes so we got a 0 0.34 so if you recall in that problem also we selected outlook only as the root yes that's true okay yes so you'll be drawing the graph okay just give me a second you'll be drawing the graph in this way so here he, ha he had drawn it really clearly guys so that is the reason why i have just took this as an example okay okay yes so he have drawn for sunny and for overcast and for rainy so if he if we observe here in overcast everything is yes sir. so instead of even comparing again so you can directly write yes okay so once it is done we again separated this table so basically we took this table okay so this table or if you want me to show in a clear way this is the exact table which we divided on that day also in the last lecture also right yes so this table again start the same process guys again for sunny select okay so for guinea index for temperature you need to do okay for humidity you need to do for wind you need to do okay so you'll be doing for everyone individually okay so again you'll be calculating the guinea indexes and you'll be getting the values guys okay so similarly you'll be continuing for them all and at the end you'll be getting the values in this way so among these all what is the minimum humidity is minimum okay so you'll be selecting humidity as the outlooks the sunny so here if you observe for high and normal in high everything is a no and in normal everything is yes at the end you'll be selecting if it is a normal we will be going through the game if it is a high you will not go to the game okay so you decided so similarly you'll be taking the next table also so the last table is nothing but your rainy table so again you'll be taking that table you'll be doing the same process again guys okay so the main reason why i'm saying this method is a bit easy because you are not doing log calculations guys so basically calculating log calculations multiple times in calci okay is really tough because there are n number of chances that we might do a small silly mistake with them right so that is the reason why i suggest you to use this method if the method name is not mentioned because this is all this is also method which is in our syllabus and it is a standard method you can say okay yes so using guinea index okay so using guinea index at the end you got these values and among them the weight is a minimum so at the end you got this okay so we got them so again here everything is yes and here everything is no at the end you got the same diagram guys okay yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea about this method right yes so if you observe the time it, this video took around seven minutes guys it's almost half of the time of my explanation right yes so that is the reason why i suggest you you to use this method guys okay yes so it is all about the probability logic and you will be subtracting remember that it is one minus the values guys please don't confuse okay so here i wrote an example for our understanding in my words logic okay so two three five seven four zero four three two five okay so you'll be taking the first value one minus okay so i'll be using this table guys because it's already clearly written here right so just to give me a second okay so here we are having table right yes so here in this only i'll explain why again my book right yes okay so here i wrote so, so see one minus number of yeses by total no minus number of yeses by total so two by five minus three by five you are totally minusing from 1 minus 2 by 5 minus 3 by 5. So, in that way. Okay. I think I forgot to write whole squares. I'm really sorry about that. Guys, I didn't notice it. I noticed it now. Okay. So, make sure that it's a whole square, guys. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, that that is all about this method, guys. Okay. So, I hope everyone got a clear idea about CART, right? Yes. Okay. So, I think we are done with the first unit of our machine learning, guys. So, in the next lecture, we'll be going through some important topics. After that, we are going to start the second unit of the subject, guys. Okay? Yes. So, let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.